I've written a book that's uh, available on Amazon.com on health and fitness, and I, I, I believe that uh, health and fitness should be a way of life for all of us. I actually moved here to the United States about six years ago from my hometown in, in Bombay, India. Bombay is the town where that movie Slumdog Millionaire was shot, <laughs> the one that everyone's talking about, and for some reason, all my friends and clients look at me and go, oh yeah, Slumdog won, you must be really happy. <laughs> so, I'm, I'm, I'm glad, I'm glad it won. But um, I, have, I have about 10 or 15 minutes to speak with you and uh, hopefully, uh, hopefully communicate some sort of a message that you can take home. I mean, at the end of the day, it's okay if you, if you go home and you know, don't remember my name or just remember me as that Indian guy. But as long as, as, long as you guys can go home with a message that, that, that helps you in, in your day-to-day -day life, I'll, I'll have done my job. Um, as, as we grow older, there are a lot of things that happen to the human body. Uh, the, the structure of the spine, the spine loses its, uh, its integrity, so a lot of us get a hunched posture. Muscles tend to get weaker. The skin starts to lose its suppleness, lose its elasticity. And, um, and you know, there's, if there was one pill in the world that could, that could help improve your posture, that could uh, improve the strength of your muscles, that could uh, allow you to look your best and have better skin, better hair, then it would be worth, you know, uh, <laughs> worth millions of dollars. It would be the biggest breakthrough of all time. We don't have such a pill, but we do have such a solution. And that solution is exercise. Now, you know, I don't want to, you know, uh, say the same old things that, that you probably heard before. But what I want to know is, do any of us here have have a concept or some sort of an understanding of how often one should exercise? Should it be once a week, twice a week, five times a week to get benefits? Benefits like the ones I just mentioned. Yes, sir. Three times a week. He said three. I agree, I go three times. I say five. Five? Ten of them. Okay. Yeah. Six? Six? I think it's possible. How long, before I answer that, let me ask you one more question. How long should exercise be? 20 minutes, 30 minutes, 45 minutes, 42? Actually give you some benefit? 30 minutes to an hour. 30 minutes to an hour? Depends on the Broadly speaking, is it? <laughs> Broadly speaking, yeah, I mean, five minutes, thirty minutes, thirty to an hour, two hours, two hours, thirty minutes, thirty minutes, thirty minutes. Would, wouldn't it vary a lot in your uptake where you are? If you do a hard run one day, and the next day you swim easy. Which, which is yes, what I was trying to get to. Um, the right duration of exercise and the right frequency of exercise varies from person to person, but the the best duration and the frequency of exercise for you is the one that you can stick with let me let me break that down for you let's say some of us aren't exercising at all which is fine but let's say we start uh, exercising now when I say exercise I mean it's something more than what you normally do let's say you walk to work for 10 minutes or let's say you're doing something on a day-to-day -day basis that you've been doing for a few years that doesn't count as exercise because that's not going to help us improve when I say exercise I mean something above and beyond what you're already doing. Perhaps um, walking up and down the stairs instead of taking the elevator would be an example of exercise. Uh, walking short distances instead of taking your car would be another example. Or if you're not going to the gym, joining the gym and spending 10 or 15 minutes there. That would be an example of, of exercise. Any exercise that you can do consistently is, is going to benefit you. For some of us who already exercise, me personally, I exercise 45 minutes four times a week. But if some of us aren't doing anything, even 10 minutes twice or, twice or three times a week is, is a good example of getting all the benefits of exercise. I, I, I want all of us to do a little more than what we're doing now and do it within our own limits so that we can do it consistently. I'm not, I, I don't want everyone to walk away from, from today's talk thinking, I need to work out 45 minutes four times a week or I'm not going to get any benefit. You know what? Forget it. I'm not going to do it. I want all of us to walk away with the message that I need to do a little bit more than what I'm doing now and I need to do it consistently, ideally at least twice a week.
for, for some of us, as I said, it may be as simple as walking for 10 minutes on the treadmill or, you know, as the weather gets better, maybe stepping out to the park and going for a brisk walk for 10 or 15 minutes, three or four times a week. But the moral of the story is a little bit more than what we're doing now and as consistently as we can.